Hello guys, welcome to Cheapest Chips 2. My name is Craig and today I am bringing you the easiest and quickest way to put your PS3 or Xbox 360 into DMZ. I see so many ways on the internet of doing this that are all completely over complicated and over exaggerated. This is the easiest way, it does work. If it doesn't work then I suggest that you need to get a new router uh, because this should work. It should open your NAT type. Uh, this is for people who get strict or moderate NAT type. So you need to go to settings and then down to network settings. Now you can find your IP address out either in the settings and connection status list at the top there or you will find it out in your router's home page. So you then go into internet connection settings and you go down to custom because we're going to customize this, the router settings. You pick either wired or wireless, whichever one you use. Auto detect and then down to manual on the IP address settings. Right, my IP address is 192.168.01. A lot of people in Britain will have that same IP address. But like I said, you need to find out your IP address and you need to put it in the top. So I'm going to put 192.168.01 and I'm going to put exactly the same in the default router and the primary DNS. You need to leave the secondary DNS alone and leave the sub uh, subnet mask because I don't know what they do so there's no point in asking me. <laughs> um, so, But you need to make sure that you get your IP address because they are completely different. Just because mine is this, it doesn't mean that yours is going to be the same. Uh, we're going to actually go back up to the IP address now. And we're going to change the last digit to a number anywhere between 50 and I'd say 190. So I'm going to, I'm going to pick for this exercise 93. And then what you need to do is you need to go, leave that screen as it is, and you need to go onto your laptop or PC and get your router's uh, homepage up. And you need to log in. And for anybody who doesn't know uh, their, you know, their username or password for the router, if you haven't set up a password or username, it's usually admin for username, and then the password is normally whatever company you're with. So for the purpose of this, it, if you haven't done it with Sky, it's the, it's an admin. Then the password's always Sky. Uh, I've changed my password, obviously, to my own password. And you're going to go to Advanced Settings. Now you'll see at the top there, Default DMZ Server. Make sure that box is ticked, and then you put in what you've put on the top line of the PS3 settings, which is 192.168.0.93. Now, you have to excuse me here, guys, because I uh, went on to mess around with a couple of settings, which I didn't need to. That's all you needed to do, and then as soon as you've done that, you just needed to click Apply. Uh, I don't know what I was doing here. Just ignore that completely. Uh, just make sure the default DMZ server is ticked. And you've put in the exact number that matches the numbers that you've put into your PlayStation or Xbox. And then press, uh, press apply. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the screen that we had uh, left it at on the PS3. Which should uh, be the IP address and the secondary DNS and the primary DNS, that screen. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to apply the settings by just pressing X, leave it like that. And then we're going to go and move across screens and then go all the way to the end until you test out your internet connection settings. Just make sure that the UPnP uh, is enabled. And then you go ahead and you test your internet connection settings. Guys, your internet connection then should come up successful. If it doesn't, you've done it wrong. You need to rewatch the video and do it again. I hope it works. Your NAT type should now be open. Um, and... Seriously, guys, that's the easiest way you should do it. Uh, good luck. Keep gaming.